Okay, five fans joining us now. Friend to the room, too pretty himself, Montana Love. <laughs> What's up, Jay? <laughs> What's going on, man? How you doing? Look, uh, we're doing Thank great. You. Thanks for joining What's us. Up? Uh, What's up with the guys, man? Chilling, chilling. We good, baby. Thank Listen, you. Rock, rock, I just want Rocket Mortgage Field House, man. Cleveland. Uh, I know you're getting calls for tickets, people harassing you. Uh, how many ticket requests have you gotten? Because I always ask fighters that when they're fighting at home. Yeah, man, it's out, it's outrageous. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell them, I ain't got nothing for you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got, hey, hey, listen, hey. you want to be in the building? You got to, you got pay for the, you got pay to get in. Absolutely. All right, so listen. Some some people say that fighting in their hometown makes them more nervous. Some people say it's no nerves because they got more support at hometown. How you feel? Um. I mean, I feel good. You know, I fought, my breakout fight was actually at home last year on the Jake Ball card, so. Yeah, but you no, headlining, I mean, it's a little different. Yeah, no, it's definitely a little different when you headlining for sure, you know. Um, more so, it's, it's not more like nervous and nothing like that. It's just, you know, make, making sure you just want to be on point. You know what I'm saying? Like more so for me, like for far as the overall event, I don't really think nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay gonna do what it is, do what it is, what it is. I ain't worried about the event, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna make sure that I'm in, you know, I'm in top shape and, and, and prep, you know, prep, prepare for this fight. That's all for the fight. Yeah, no, I mean, cause to your point, look, it can be a distraction worrying about how many tickets are selling, who's coming. Uh, how do you, how do you, you, you kind of stay away from that distraction and stay focused. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, as far as me, I don't care, man. You know, I'm, the people <laughs> going to talk, they're going to do what they do. Like I say, man, I all I can do is worry about myself and worry about, you know, being in that ring. As far as, like, tickets and all that, like, like they tell you I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just post a link here. It was just for, it was times, like, for weeks at a time when he posting, like, on the story or posting at all. Like, so I'm, I'm focused on the bigger goal, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, the city gonna come out, they know what's going on. People will make it, they make it, they don't, they don't. I ain't doing no tripping, you know what I'm saying? But uh, like the, the biggest thing for me is just my performance. On your undercard is, is a young Olympian, Richardson Hitchens. What do you think of him as a boxer? And maybe, or is this aligning you guys to fight sometime in the future? I mean, nah, I don't know what they trying to do. Like, like, to be honest, I never even, like, watched him, you know what I'm saying? Like, really paid him no attention. At the end of the day, like, you know, he, he under me. So, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, we back then, we had an opportunity to fight on the show box years ago. And, oh, yeah? You know, yeah, I have, we tried to make it happen. They didn't want the southpaw working back then. So, we passed that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... I'm way higher ranked. Like I'm, I'm on bigger things right now. Like even with this fight here, like you know, uh, the zone they wanted this fight, so you know, because I guess they opened up to the Australian market or whatnot. But you know, like I'm, you know, it's, it's no benefit there right now. So, like you know, so if you, you know, if you do get past spot, you know, and obviously that's the goal. Like you said, you're looking for better, bigger, bigger things. You got bigger fish to fry. Who, who's on Montana's hit list? after this i mean i like to ask fighters to to give me their next three opponents if it was in your control and you can pick them in what in the, in, in in this order what, who would they be i said i it's really not like a, a certain people that i look at for. like it's really i want what's best for me next you know what i'm saying so like what would be the best strategic or the best move for me to to be where i need to be you know what i'm saying to get a step closer or whatnot i know they was talking uh you know you know, after this fight, we, we'll be looking to probably do a, a title eliminator and things like that. So, you know, you know, like I said, man, I'm yeah, taking Yeah, but who it. would that be? What would be the best strategy for you to get to where you want? If, if you were in control, if, that's it, what if it If it's, if I'm in control, my strategy right now is Sparks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> you can't look I got past Sparks that. At, you can't yeah, look I past Sparks. that. I can't. I, you know what I'm saying? It's like We fighting. can't throw names at you like Zepeda or, yeah, or no, no. Caterall or none of them. Zepeda got a very tough fight in front of him. Very, yeah. very tough fight. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And honestly, I don't even see Zepeda making it out of that. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I got, um, like I said, I got to worry about Sparks right now. You know, he's another, he's a strong, you know, come forward fighter. You know, he oh, looking for, he get looking for a point to prove. So, you know what I'm saying? I got to stay focused on, on, on this, on this task here. Yeah. And, um, you know, go from there. 
So uh, before I talk about Spark, because I got a question for him, but what did you think about that fight between Catterall and, and Josh Taylor? You think Jack pulled that off or what? Uh, honestly, me, yeah, I think I think Catterall definitely edged it. You know, I liked that fight. That was a really good fight. You know, um, I think he definitely it could have went either way, but I thought I thought that Catterall could have edged it for sure. No doubt. Listen, I uh, see the, is they about to, I see about to do it again, huh? Yeah, that, yo. Enough respect to Josh for taking that, you know? Had to let yeah. go of a belt just to take this fight, man. You got to respect that. Nah, he let go of a couple belts, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, a lot, a lot of the belts vacant. That's why it was crazy to even see him, you know, yeah. redo it. I thought he was going up, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Speaking, speaking about going up, uh, here's a fight that the people talked about him going down to 140. Fought at 147 for many years. He's a another Ohio native who recently signed a deal with BOK Prime. I'm talking about Adrian Broner. You know, people always said that Broner's a better lightweight, better super lightweight. So maybe mm -hmm. he'd be going back down to 140. Is that, a, is that a potential fight that you'd be interested in if it pre presented itself? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That'd be, you know, that'd be big for Ohio. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We and him, we we go crazy together. You know what I'm saying? That is, that's like peanut butter and jelly. It's gonna be a lot of slick talking in that. Yeah, promotion. yeah, 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 yeah. It's <laughs> gonna be, it's gonna be, you know, like see, honestly, like I, you know, going through life experience, it just humbled me for real, and just you know, you know, just certain situations. But it, you know, I, I, you know, when it's time to pop that, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna pop that. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, yeah. But definitely, like a fight like that would be crazy, man. That'd be crazy. What is no, I, I think I, I think you could be a humble fighter, but then pop smack when it's time. So I don't think that's it's what really he's saying. Wrong with yeah, that. that's what he's we saying. We love that. <laughs> Yo, so yeah, what is your relationship true. like with uh, Rona? Uh, you know, we, our relationship always been like it's been cool, you know, to like an extent though. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you know, it's situations that happen and just show you like what type of you know. Like the way I might look at the person, they might not you know that it ain't reciprocated. Like it just show you certain, you know what I'm saying? Like you just cool. Mm -hmm. We cool to an extent. Just put it like that. It's to an extent. Like we ain't never been like no bad blood. Anytime you been in the city, I may show you as I, right, you know what I'm saying? Took care of, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but yeah, it ain't no no bad blood. But definitely we, you know, we can rumble for sure. No doubt. I like that. So how do you rate your opponent coming up? How do you rate Steve Spark? Uh, if, like if I got to rate him, I mean, I rate him like you know, he's just a, a, a um a come forward strong fighter. You know what I'm saying? He's looking for a big punch. You know, he uh, it's, to me, I look at it like fighting Ivan all over again, Ivan Branch, because mm. uh, he's just straightforward. Everything he throws is hard. You know what I'm saying? So you see it coming, but he just no defense. He just you know he just got that European style. Like they don't care. They don't care about what you what you do. They dish that shit out, but they can't take what's come back battle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you dish that, they can't take what's coming back. But that's just, you know, I mean, he's a solid fighter. So you right. probably got a knockout on the menu then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, that's <laughs> definitely always on the menu. I'm always trying to, you know, if I can yeah, get yeah. it. Yeah, if I definitely right, listen, get it. Look, look, you, we know you flashy and you're home so you got to have something planned for the ring entrance man G give us a little teaser what what, what are we what should we expect that night you know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you know yeah, I'm saying it's gonna be an event it's gonna be an event I just want to know what hey, your dog wearing that's all you know what I'm saying <laughs> hey it's it's a vibe man the whole too pretty yeah. experience man it's gonna be a vibe you know what i mean like it's just me being me me like you know i i had two fights where i was fighting in mexican based crowds where i'm getting booed when i'm coming out and you know what i'm saying to be able to be home and feel some love is is, is good you know what i'm saying it's a great yes. great feeling so is you know, the after is the but, after party lined up already is the after party man, spot lined up this the thing man i got everything lined up we got everything we just ready for whatever but again like I never overlooked nobody, you know what I'm man, saying? Man, I might have to come to Ohio, though, man. I ain't party in a minute. I might have to come th to this fight and go to that after party. I don't know. Yeah, man, y'all got to come on out to the fight, man. Definitely come on out. Like, I, I know this fight going to be, I know this fight going to be ex explosive. I know this fight going to be, you know, action because you got a guy that's like this, nonstop. You know what I'm saying? You got a guy that's yes. pushing Pressing forward. Pressing action. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it like that, like these type of fights is really pretty, like tailored for my style. It's good, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is it, 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 this what I like to do. So, 
I like to just beat you up, run you into shit, you know, and just have fun <laughs> with it. So yeah, yeah it's pretty right. it's pretty well, cool. Well, well listen, we'll we'll be tuned in if we're not in the building. So good luck, man. And uh Nah, I ain't no y'all not in there. I ain't trying to hit none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man, I was just saying, all right, hey, I'm going to beat it, I'm going to beat it. All right, all right, so Barack, are we, saying, are we saying live on the show that you're going to be there? Are yeah, we going to yeah. be there? Absolutely, absolutely. We're going to be there. All right, man, gonna I guess we're going to be there, Chet. My all man, right. I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, no hey, listen, though, I'm going to try that again, light skin, man. You'll make me do something bad. <laughs> real, And man. he got I bars. Know. Don't try that again, light skin. <laughs> oh, man. All right, listen, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see you soon, Chet. Good. Thanks for joining us and good luck, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all having me again, man. Thanks. Introducing the new DAZN Boxing Show podcast. No matter the time or the place, getting your boxing content has become easier than ever. Tune in as we give you exclusive insights, predictions, fight night recaps, and more alongside the biggest names in the game. All for free. Available globally every Thursday across all audio streaming platforms and with new episodes dropping weekly to give you the latest news. Just type in the DAZN Boxing Show podcast, listen in, and enjoy.